Hello. I have to do a uh, firmware upgrade on a D445 processor. So I figured I'd just record the uh, the process. Uh, if you have an existing program uh, that you support and you have to do a firmware upgrade or you want to to get some uh, additional uh, bug fixes or, or whatever, um, I just said uh, I'll record this. Because there's a couple little things that you, you got to do, and if you didn't write the program, uh, it might not be clear what the, it's asking you to uh, fix once the upgrade gets finished. Uh, especially if you're using any of the Siemens libraries or anyone else's libraries. Uh, there'll be a couple uh, little things you got to fix before you can get it to completely compile. Uh, and so I'm just going to show that. So you go into the hardware config. Some of this is a little sluggish. It runs on a did this on a virtual machine. Alrighty. So the processor uh, is always in the old step seven classic type view shows up as a big block with the individual internal components you go select your new one this was 40 we're going to go to 43 now that it's been replaced uh, you got to you know save and compile the uh, the new hardware configuration this one actually seems to go pretty pretty good if you're changing a lot of things or going to a, the next generation processor, like the 2 processor, this is a, a dash zero, uh, you'll get a, you'll get errors because there's new networking uh, information. But you got to be careful. You can't just do that without upgrading the uh, power modules. So we're going to stick with just going from uh, an old processor to a one processor. So we can reuse our existing power modules because there's a lot of them. Uh, this is being kind of sped up. Uh, this actually takes a little while where it goes through each technology object and axis and upgrades it to the whatever new firmware that you actually selected. Um, and this VM, it actually took almost three minutes. Alright, so it's always going to come up with errors if you had libraries, definitely going to have errors. And this one does, this has the, uh, the print standard for uh, shaftless printing, a uh, little standard I wrote, <clears throat> has some functions, and just a little uh, Siemens library of functions that I popped in there. So what it's really upset about is, <clears throat> and always is going to be, that we've changed the uh, technology packages uh, in the processor, but the libraries, you have to select those, so the libraries need to get reselected as, uh, instead of the old processors, the new one. So you need to go to the 4.3, select the same technology packages as it had, but in version uh, 4.3 versus 4.0. Uh, do them all. <clears throat> I notice sometimes that on the first compile pass, it'll it won't flag all the uh, libraries necessarily. Kind of kind of strange. So uh, you may get additional errors after you correct the first ones, but it doesn't take that long to do a, a simple compile. You'll catch them through a couple iterations of this. I just happen to know it needs, it's going to need all, all of them changed because I've done this before. And 
Now these packages only uh, only reference CAM as CAM, no versions or anything. So I don't actually have, have to go into the software uh, itself and change anything in the program. Now this is being sped up again. I, I told to do a complete compile. Now it's going to catch um, actually a couple uh, errors th that uh, were in programs uh, that it turns out weren't actually being used. But the if statements, the else greater than or else less than, uh, the new version of the firmware is very sensitive to that, that order uh, where the old one apparently allowed it to be the uh, the opposite uh, order and so it's flagging those so I just go change them though I could delete these routines entirely because they weren't actually being used and I compile it to double check yep I cleared it Save the changes. Now I'm going to do it again. Now notice here, when you do the basic compile, it flags a routine, not what's wrong in the routine. You have to go open that routine and do a, a accept compile on it to give it to tell you which actual lines you know it's, it's actually upset about. So you kind of have to drill down. So there it shows. Yeah, brings you right to it by double clicking. Again, it's the same thing. Again, another routine that actually didn't get used, but check it. Yep, that was it. So that should be the the last ones. So let's check it. All right. So let's say we got all the problems taken care of. I do a, now I'm just going to do a complete rebuild, recompile all. <coughs> uh, this takes a little while. Probably should have sped this up, but anyway, you can see it going through, churning away. It's getting there. The progress bar is never proportional. I'm not quite sure what it's keying off of, but it's the way it always is, even with downloads. And that's it.